in my dream. She is me and I am she. In my mind, it's destiny. You can't escape or deny when you know it's meant to be. I go hard because I know this life is just a show. People always gonna judge wherever you go. So you might as well live the way you want and be free and realize there's more to this fake reality. It all fell apart. It's gone. Like, all, everything I worked for the entire game is gone. I mean, I would have went home without an idle play, so I'm here longer than, than I guess I should be. But my game is completely fucked. Uh, Team Yahoo just completely imploded. <sighs> because. Essentially, because Days and Infinity decided to turn on Ibarka. We had Ibarka. But they turned on him, and I didn't take too kindly to that, because I don't appreciate it when people turn on someone who's your ally. I don't appreciate that. Excuse me that I want to be loyal to my allies and people I think are beneficial to my game. I was kind of upset when I saw that Mike used the safety card, but I guess I'll get over it. I, did, I was super surprised by him playing that safety car. I did not know at all. Apparently his team didn't know or, you know, everybody was surprised at this point. But, um, yeah, that, that threw me all the way off, you know. I, I definitely didn't expect him to play the car like that. And what's even crazier is Infinity told him that we were going to vote for him. So that kind of ruined our plans and blew up in our face, but... That's what happens when you trust people, right? I called out Infinity this morning because Infinity also betrayed everything, basically. And I told her to vote Fanguy, and she immediately runs and tells Fanguy, leading to Fanguy to block me. Like, like really? My intention was not to get out Fanguy. My intention was to force a two- or three-way tie that would lead to rocks, which the only person eligible to draw a rock. Uh, if ever would be Rachel, and Rachel would have went. That's what I wanted. I didn't want Fan Guy out, but Infinity purposefully misrepresented that statement in order to make me look bad. So that's a pretty shitty move. So I tried to expose her for whatever fucking good that'll do. None, none, because now we're just gonna get picked off, and the final three is probably gonna be Team AOL. What a fucking surprise! Well, Mike didn't have a choice, so I, I everyone knew he had to play it. Um, I literally just kind of still play the honesty and let every, everybody know what's going on. So the cat was out of the bag for that. And it, it was a way for me also to, to flush out that card that I just had a sneaky suspicion that was being hidden from me. He has not been open and honest. He's talking about our team being a, an alliance in a group, but man, if you're hiding stuff from your team, that's not really a team play. So I'm glad that I went ahead and did that. Um, maybe some other people thought that I was being dishonest in that respect, but 
really, I was just trying to, to figure out where the advantage came from. And, and it was who I suspected it was, so. So how do I feel about Infinity giving him a heads up? That actually, I'm glad, you know, I did notice that. And um, it definitely, it's definitely interesting. Because uh, she didn't vote for Mike. Dazed and the three of us voted for Mike. She voted for Ibarka and Mike uh, voted for Dazed. So as weird as it sounds, Infinity's vote for Ibarka actually saved, saved my ass. Uh, so, I mean, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, maybe she's working closer with Mike than we thought, but we're going to find that out for, for sure by the next vote. And from what she's telling me, she's not. So I can't, uh, and she, she called him a pretty bad, despicable human being. So I can't think that, um, I don't know. They're either really good actors or everybody doesn't like Mike. He's playing too hard, too fast and getting too, too out of control with everything. So it's just like, I don't want to, um, I don't want to play the game with somebody like that, that I know is making deals with everybody. I totally... I never understood that watching some of the, you know, some of my favorite reality shows before. You watch them and you never really understand them. You hear them talking about the person who's cutting deals with everybody. And then you actually kind of see it going down and you're like, yeah, I can get why they don't like that. That's kind of a scummy thing. Uh, it's shrewd if you can pull it off masterfully, but he's not. He, he thinks he's so much more clever than he is. It's ridiculous. Like the way he talks to me, it was like, hello, I am Mr. Mike. I am a dumbass. Oh, I would never do that. Oh, I would never. Like, you should see just the tone he takes in his typed out messages with me. Um, like, Mr. Innocent, Mr. This, Mr. That. Like, I just can't. Even if he is, like, the, he's doing a bad job convincing me. Drama with me and Mike. I've said many a times that I don't like him. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to piss people off to vote for me. It worked probably a little too well. What a surprise. Uh, I did too good a job for sure. Uh, and it, it sort of worked. I mean, I I got votes. I canceled the votes, but fucking Infinity still voted Ibarka, and that's what fucked us over. If Infinity had voted me, or Days, obviously, uh, Days would have went instead of me, or or instead of Ibarka. I mean, it was a lot of drama last night. Um, my thoughts on all the drama is honestly, I'm trying to stay out of it. I'm trying to make sure that my name don't come up like mike threw my name up in something and i'm like bruh i ain't even i missed it i'm late i don't even know what's going on you know like so i don't know the drama is crazy like i mean i don't know what set mike off dude but something <laughs> upset this man and like he is out for blood so i just hope he ain't coming at my neck that's all so like, yeah, because Mike started telling me that if I didn't do what he said, he was going to be voting for me or something like that, or he was going to try to get people to vote me out if I didn't vote for Dazed or something. And like, I don't play that kind of intimidation bullshit game. Like, I just don't. So um, it really ruffled my feathers. I don't care for Mike anymore. I think he tried to play too hard, too fast, and it bit him in the butt. I, I think he's going to be the next vote out for sure. If he's not, this was all some elaborate scheme by Dazed and Mike to whatever. Uh, and, it, and it's funny. I mean, more power to them if they're pulling that off. But uh, I really think they genuinely don't like each other. And I genuinely don't like Mike. Drama is what makes the show. So I think it's pretty awesome. And I hope that people don't really have hard feelings. I mean, coming into this, it's like everybody's playing a role. Everybody's playing a character. Um, I mean, it's reality TV, or wait, should I put it in quotes? It's reality TV, guys, this is real. <laughs> I don't think anyone in this game wants to work with me anymore. I am completely and utterly alone. Everyone, every single person has turned on me. There's no one. I have nobody. There is literally nobody. Uh, I'm persona non gratis. I mean, I'm gonna try to make my pitch that I am so disliked and hated that they should keep me around as a goat if I lose this challenge, but it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go home unanimously. Maybe the one person will throw a vote away thinking I might have a second idol, but I don't as of right now.
So, I mean, yeah, the drama, it was something, man. It was good for, you know, I'm in a weird, weird situation where I'm planted right now. So, uh, this next vote, I think, is going to be pretty easy for Mike. But I just don't know. Like, you just, everybody's capable of anything. I think the drama's great. It literally is interesting to watch. It's fun to be a part of, and I like chaos. Man, I don't know where the fuck we stand right now. I mean, come on. I don't know. I'd like to think that Affinity is my, is my ride or die. I thought we were pretty close with Fan Guy, but you know, there's there's probably a good chance that I'm going home tomorrow if I don't if I don't win the immunity challenge. I'll vote with whoever will save me. I will vote with them, and if and uh, if it, someone takes me all the way to the end, they're gonna win. This 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 group of people, this jury, aren't gonna vote for me. At this point, I'm just I. My entire game crumbled because I didn't show up to one tribal council. One one tribal council? I mean, I wasn't doing amazing. Like, I know I wasn't in, like, this amazing spot. But my, I, I completely have just become target number one by missing one tribal. I got enough votes to send me home if I did an idol. And after idling, everyone just despises me because I saved myself. And I tried to save my ally, Ibarka. I mean, aren't those admirable qualities? Don't you want someone who's gonna stick up for you if you're even if you're not there to stick up for yourself? I don't understand why that just they just, they just it makes me they just hate me. because she seems like the spokesperson but I don't really know because I just love her confidence so I mean I, I think that but it, she probably is shit the most coolest person mm, Aspen I just like her laid back energy I love it I, I love it I'm not gonna lie uh, I am the coolest person you know I look cool I, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say I expected that you know I get that a lot I'm a cool person I was the first out of the reward challenge because it was coconut chop. What a fucking surprise! Uh, that's really an unfortunate challenge for that time for me because I literally couldn't win it. I was completely wasting my time, and it was a total shit show. They're actually they were terrible at the guesses. Like they were really really bad. That challenge should have been over so much faster. season me I don't see that I don't know why people thought that thank you I would love to thank 
my mom for giving me these jeans for giving birth to me um no i don't really take it <laughs> i was just i i use good filters bitch to fuck <laughs> and um i don't know thank you bros thank you i appreciate that shit um i thought aspen and ori barker was the best looking but i'm <laughs> Thank you for saying me, bitch. Things that are running the game, the majority thinking affinity. I mean, come on. I mean, you, if anything, based off of this challenge, I should think that infinity is the next target. Who would I want to meet in real life and be friends with? Aspen. She. I love her vibe, bro. She is so chill <laughs> and I need people to like vibe off with And if I was stranded on an island, I would want to be with Van Guy because he seems really resourceful, really smart, a thinker. I need that because uh, sometimes up here, not all there. So I need someone to like combat that, okay? <laughs> Yo, I was really touched. I actually messaged my, I was really, really touched. I messaged my beautiful girlfriend, Nicole, and told her that, you know, I actually really got touched. Like, the some of the stuff they said about me was like, really cool. And you know, um, I haven't always had the highest self-esteem, like really, it, it's been pretty low. At, various points in my life um and I just recently lost a bunch of weight and you know I was just in a real big depression not too too long ago and just feeling terrible about myself so just knowing that these strangers that we've only been in each other's lives for a few weeks and none of us on a real intimate close level uh would say some of those things about me I'm not used to hearing stuff like that about myself, so uh, sincerely, that was, it was special. I mean, there's no other way about it. It was, it was, if I don't take anything away from this game, other than these people saying that stuff about me, 
that'll be enough for me. It, 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 it touched me on, like it, it really did. It, more than like, I'm not gonna sit here and like cry in this confessional or anything, because that would just make too much good entertainment. But, uh, you know, there was definitely some pressure building up, because it was just, like I said, I'm just not used to hearing that. So when you, when you hear that kind of thing, when you feel so not good about yourself sometimes, and you realize that total strangers actually like you, it's, it's nice. This girl like does not reach out to me ever. It's like the only time she ever talks to me if I, if I send her a message. So I'm just kind of like, mm. she um, has clearly chosen who she wants to work with. So I guess potentially, yes, we could be the battling Aries. And I don't know why people think I'm, I would sub succumb to intimidation easily because nobody can intimidate me. You don't scare me. Nobody puts fear in my heart. I do this. Uh, to be fair, in this challenge, I didn't want to win it. I don't think Fan Guy wanted to win it. I was voted for Villain of the Season. I was voted as the player you trust the most voted for most honest and voted for most to stab you in the back like that makes no sense this game makes no sense the we're the ugh, the lines are so fucking blurred right now it's not even funny like i i, I could be going home tomorrow most annoying I would say me but <laughs> can't say myself so maybe <laughs> again no shade because I can't say myself okay so just know I think I'm annoying too but Mike Oh look, Rachel won the reward challenge based on social game. What a fucking surprise. Uh, because my teammates refuse to vote her out. You wanna know why Daze refuses to vote her out? Because she's pretty. I guess we can go ahead and get started. I'm not sure if, uh, fan guy is going to be here or not he said something about being on the road you have any questions for me I have nothing to say to you really yeah you didn't trust me enough to tell me about the idol fuck no I didn't trust you enough why not I hadn't told you any lies uh, I'm sorry hold on hold on did, did, I, did I get did I get four votes? Wait, wait. Yeah. So, wait, wait. Okay, so Rachel, Aspen, Fan Guy. Wait, wait. Who was the fourth? Can you refresh my memory? It was me. Oh, well, I wonder why I didn't tell you about the idol. I was like, dude, you didn't tell me about your idol. He goes, well, why would I? I was like, dude, I told you, I told you about my advantage. 
uh, and he doesn't consider those the same. I mean, if he would have come up with some bullshit um, advantage just to let me know that he had one, I could have I could have gone with that. But I was on the fence. Yes, did I wanna did I wanna take out Mike um, after the merge? Absolutely. Um, but I was still on the fence whether I wanted it to be him or Ibarca. Um, I was trying to go with the majority at the time. And like I told him tonight, it wasn't until it wasn't until he didn't he didn't show up for for the tribal council and right after the tribal council, uh, Affinity came to me and said he has an idol. So there we go. We gotta, we gotta vote him. We gotta at least flush the idol out. So you didn't trust me from the beginning. No. And why is that? Because you betrayed me. I betrayed you when you used the idol. I didn't betray yeah, you before that. So if I didn't use the idol, I would be gone right now. So why did you not trust me enough beforehand to tell me about the idol? I wanted you gone. The Why? second you join the game. Why? I just didn't like you. Why? I don't need a reason for everything. You're going to see. The second you join this, I was like, this guy needs to go. You know why I didn't trust you? If we had gone to tribal pre-merge, I would have tried to get you out even over Karen. Do you know why I didn't trust you? Why didn't you trust me? Because you talked major shit about Ibarka when, remember in the price challenge, when he wasn't fast enough? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he you wasn't lo- fast enough. I always said yeah, you, you lo- he you lost your cool. Enough. You lost your cool in the chat. And yeah, because I, I went, he was slow. Like, what a terrible thing to say. Oh my god. Yeah, but what did you do? You went back and deleted that. Yeah. Why? Because it was a thing I said in a moment of anger, so I got rid of it. So, seems like a negative trait to me. That's why I didn't like you to begin with. But that wasn't to begin with. It didn't happen for a while. That was the price game. You didn't like me for what reason? I didn't betray you until the whole idol thing. I found out you had an idol. And I was like, well, fuck. I might as well go in and vote for him. He didn't tell me about it. I might as well vote him out to flush it. He doesn't trust me enough. I didn't idle until I was told I was getting a bunch of votes, probably including you. Were you not? I, all right, so, so you were at that tribal where everyone said they were. I, I voted for you, but you decided not to tell me that everyone was going to be voting for me. So you weren't at like the tribal. Me, but you was was it discussed that I was going to be getting votes at the tribal? Yes or no? As far as I know, it wasn't. I told really? everybody that's that I was. I was on the fence. Because that's not what I've heard. I was on the fence, and I told when the host asked me, where, where do you lie? I said, right now I'm leaning towards Ibarka, because he hasn't been here. I didn't choose to vote for you until after the fact, when you lit me up, started being condescending to me after the tribal. That's when I finally said, fuck this. And you do know that I only did that because I knew I was getting votes, and I wanted to idle... Originally, I wanted to idle out someone other than you, but then you no, got really nobody, towards me. Nobody so was coming you. after you until you started hitting us up after the tribal being nasty as fuck. That's not true. That's what I saw, and that's what my chat history shows me. I wanted I to vote Barca. I will, I will have you know. Let me, let me open my Discord. Okay. Friday at 10.29 p.m., Infinity told me that... All signs point to you tonight. Everyone talked about you being a bigger threat than Ibarka, hyphen, just being straight up. I mean, so, that is that is true. Nobody specifically said that they were voting for you. Well, there was a lot okay, of... So it's okay it. to not tell me because no one specifically said they were voting me? You weren't, that is, you weren't that is there! Mental, that is the most mental gymnastics I've ever seen in my life. You weren't, you weren't there. And it definitely did get heated at times. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I don't think I yelled, if I'm remembering correctly, but he definitely yelled at me. And I, I did my best to keep my cool. I've been to every challenge, every little meeting, every tribal council. I missed one for personal reasons, and I am immediately the target? 
What Why didn't you what tell kind us of that? Allies are you? You did. You've been. You haven't been up front the entire game. You don't tell us why you're going to be gone. You can tell us 50-50. Do I need to explain yes. My life to yes. You? You're playing a game. You want us to be allies with you. You tell us over and over again. It's going to be 50-50 whether you're going to be at a challenge or a trouble. Just be up front. You couldn't even tell us about an idol that you had. Why okay. would we trust you? <laughs> because I obviously needed it. My God, your your the the your mind is just it doesn't make any sense to me. That's you fine, man. I... Whatever you do, can can I ask you to stop yelling and screaming at me so I can calmly explain what I'm saying? Can you be can you be honest? No. No. So like you before, know what I, I will be honest. I still have my my vote for you right here. It says dazed, and I think I used it twice, and I'm gonna use it a third time tonight. So do this I. Kind of, yeah, this is great, you know. Yeah. Maybe if you hadn't uh, screwed me over, this wouldn't be the case. But I didn't screw you over. Go, go you. back. Remember me asking you, are you, are you always this condescending? That was before the vote, right? That was because I needed everyone possible. Because I knew you were already, you were already considering voting me, and hadn't told me this. So I needed you to vote me so that I could attempt to get every vote off of the Barca. And I, me. I just told you why because you were rude as fuck to somebody that you didn't know, talking shit about them. Do you know what I think is rude to someone? Go ahead. Voting them out despite being in an alliance with them because you and infinity really wanted to vote out ibarca and all i wanted to do was protect ibarca and therefore by extension all of us ibarca and ibarca I doesn't do us any good why are you so aggressive about this game you're the one that, that, you're that the same one aggressiveness that same you're aggressiveness i'm i'm just Okay, you I'm speaking your loudly. Picture to a vote. You wrote my vote on like a dirty napkin. You've repeatedly like said nasty things about me. Like, dude, I'm just, go. I'm, you, I, I, you, everybody I, came to me and said that you, you threatened fan guy. I never, I never threatened fan guy. That's, that's what I've been told. I've seen that. I saw that on the first two nights that I talked to you. Why would I not believe what they said and vote against you because of that? Why? You you know what you said about Ibarca, and you know that you deleted it, so why would I not believe that your past history represents what you would do in the future? Tell me that. I, I seriously, so really, I cannot believe that this whole time, all this nastiness from you, your reason was because I said Ibarca was too slow in a challenge and it frustrated me. Like, Dude, what, there was what were my so many words? so many F bombs. So many F bombs about Ibarca. I can't find it now because when I went to find it, you deleted it. Yeah, I deleted the comments saying that Ibarca fucked up in the challenge and it frustrated me. I believe those were close to my exact words. Is he fucked up on the challenge and he was fucking slow in the challenge. Yeah, I said that, okay? And then I deleted it because I felt bad because it was in a moment of anger and I really wanted to win the challenge. To so you have my tribe. Do you have anger issues? Do I have anger issues by saying yeah. a few f bombs on the internet? And threatening fan guy talking down to me talking down to okay, infinity? Okay okay, 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 okay. I never threatened fan guy. I began the process of smoothing things over. Um, to the best of my ability, I attempted to make amends for my actions. I put all my eggs in the basket of our four-person alliance, and my plan was, indeed, I would have given you fourth place if it was my, if I had my way, because I never liked you, but I still wanted to work with you in order to protect my former friends and allies in Infinity and Ibarca, and I've already failed in one of them. Like, I was this close to idling Ibarca, but I instead decided to try and get the votes on me and idle myself to protect both me and Embarka. And no, I'm not some self selfless asshole. I needed Embarka and Infinity and you to get myself further, but it's mutually beneficial. So, yeah. I Ibarka lied wasn't to a vote, others. man. What? Ibarka wasn't a vote. But he was a number. Not he going forward. Person. Like, you got really nasty yesterday, and everybody saw it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think you deserved it because you got nasty at me first. When I supposed to defend myself? You come at me 
belittling my intelligence. Do you think you think you're smarter than me, right? Just say I it. Don't. No, I don't. I Wait, what are you what are you going to school for? I know nothing about your intelligence. I don't know if you have a college degree, if you have a high school education. I don't know. You could have a master's, you could have a doctorate, you could be a goddamn astrophysicist for all I know. I don't even think I know what your job is. So no, I don't I don't claim to know anything about then your intelligence. Then why did you come at me like that right I after? I claim to know about your gameplay, or should I say your lack thereof, and your actions within the context of the game, which I think are... It's crap. You think I'm playing a shit game. I think you're playing a shit game. One of the first things I said to you was it's good to have someone else in this tribe who can help with challenges. That was one of the first things, very first things. So Infinity Infinity wasn't worth her salt before I got there. To be honest, Just you. She, she was unable to make the first few challenges and I had no idea how active she was. You didn't tell me game. that. You told me you Barca. So Infinity was one of your votes, right? Like you could count on her vote. I thought I could. I thought I could count on all one, of you guys one, one last it all, question. It all fell apart. Was your goal to get me out? Before if the merge. Had, if, if Karen had returned to the game in any fashion, I would have attempted to use her to strike at you. I respect that. I thank you for that answer. Yeah, okay. Um, I have one last question. I'm sorry. I know this is over time. Um, is there any chance at reconciliation? Because I don't have to vote you. You know, I, I don't particularly care for you, but I understand a little bit better after this where you're coming from. You you know where to find me. It did end up ending on a decent note. And then even after that happened, our conversation continued after the time limit ran out. Mike is a douchebag. Like, I can still work with him. But he's a condescending asshole. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Hi you guys. Well, my question is. Oh wait, is it for me or Ask? Is it for me or Aspen? For you. Okay, so we don't have a question for her. <laughs> maybe, maybe later. Well, the first thing that stood out is there was never a question directed to either one of them besides mine. And um, so it was just kind of like, uh, guys are being pretty obvious. It's like they just came in for any question, it was just for me. So it was like, it's pretty obvious that they were already in alliance. My question for you is why, even though I know you told everybody on the forum, but maybe there's a different answer. Why did you tell Mike everything that we were voting for him? I did that to flesh out what he had to use for his advantage. And I just had this- had it? I didn't know it. I just had this suspicion. Um, I was doing some investigating and I just knew that someone had one advantage and they weren't talking. And in my opinion, all signs pointed to him. So I just went for it. Has well, he yeah. talked to you? He's contacted me. Well, he's contacted me today to say he was sorry. That's about it. I say sorry. <laughs> I don't. Be, well, he, he said some pretty nasty things. I just didn't share them. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he did. He tried to send me a message and, you know, like say, I hope that he basically he was trying to, you know, say that he hoped that me and you would work with him, that basically everybody yeah. else hates him and everybody has blocked him or something, dude. I honestly I just didn't even write him back. Like I don't really like his whole personality after yesterday. Right. I mean, what was him calling days I mean, like man, he was like trying to talk to you and stuff, like being a creep. Like what was Yeah, because I was like, he's never talked to me that way. Right. I don't think. So I, I was just, like, he just was reaching for stuff, I think. Yeah, because I was like, I've never even seen an indication that he liked me at all. Right. Where, where did that even come from? So, guys, I do have to ask you um, are you two working together solely? No. No. Because no, it totally seems cool. like it. Just to be honest, it seems like it. Honestly, Infinity was like grilling us. 
Really? It seems like yeah. it, really? Well, yeah. For everyone, you think? Well, is just from, I'm just speaking for myself right now. Um, I don't is it think because, so. Is it because Mike wants to work with us, you think? Is that why? Because I said that he reached out to me trying to work with us? No, I just I just get this feeling like like mm -hmm. I I'll reach out to you guys and you'll respond, but no one ever reaches out to me first, so it's just kind of like weird. Oh yeah, I'm really bad at texting people to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I hate texting, and I was working all all day. No, I'm just talking about in general, not just today. I'm like talking about throughout oh. the whole game. Not just today. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what? I, I do take responsibility. I have not reached out to you. It has always been you reaching out to me. That's totally my bad. It don't have nothing to do with me working with her or nothing. It just, just is me thinking that, honestly, you were solid with your team, you know? like I Yeah, never, I like, always think that. Even like, I feel like it was still team Yahoo, team right. AOL. Until, like, until Mike told us, like, y'all were – I mean, basically, I didn't know until Mike blew everything up and put everything out there, you know. And then I was like, oh, oh, okay, I see. It made me rethink Infinity a little bit. Because I don't understand why me and Aspen being close is anything of a concern for her. And the question she was asking was, like, very, in my opinion very accusing or you know thinking that we have things to hide bitch i'm the only I, i'm the most innocent one in this fucking game i i don't think <laughs> i should be a target i don't think any i i i'd be chilling in the backgrounds bitch in the backgrounds well how does um how does fan guy play in this how close are you guys to fan guy do you, do you talk, talk to him individually do you guys have a separate group mm. Well, we have a group chat, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know I don't know that I'm just read fan guy, you know. I don't. I'm not sure who he is working with. I know that he's working with somebody else, obviously, but I I don't really know who. You know, why? So why do you say obviously? Uh, well, just because. I mean, I I'm not really sure where his vote went to last last time i, I don't know yeah he didn't tell us so it, right so he wasn't straight up with you guys that's what you're saying no he hmm. never is how solid are you um voting out mike tonight because you said you didn't even want to respond to him if he doesn't win hold up uh, I mean, a hundred percent. Like, I, I, I'm not even going. You know, beat around the bush. That's who I'm voting for. Period. You know, if he don't win, that's that's my vote. How do you feel about it? I know that y'all were close. You know, so how do we know? No, that that, that's a myth. I was never close with that dude. <laughs> mm. I'm just gonna be straight up. Like, yes, we were put together on this team, and it's before someone showed their true colors. Um, I was starting to get some really like weird vibes. And I just like, I have to throw out tests to see if people are telling the truth. Yes. So um, you guys, I do have to ask, is there anybody who's like a ride or die? Are you guys each other's ride or die in this game? Um, I wouldn't say that, you know, I, I, I you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, one, t one day I think I'm safe and then the next day I'm getting voted out, so. And so you waiting at me and Rachel are like, solid and we are a two and we are a, like a power couple you know like basically trying to say we a power couple and shit and i'm like don't be trying to put that on us we ain't that close you know so i had to kind of throw her off even though that's my girl she is my ride or die you know that's that's funny that i said that because infinity's like is she your ride or die and i'm like no i wouldn't say that but hell yeah that's my ride or die we go ride to the end with each other, right on coasting to that final two. You know, I'm, yeah. I really am trying to solidify us being a final three right now. Seriously, I'm hoping that we can find some kind of way to um, prove ourselves to each other and gain some kind of trust so we can like solidify that bond and us just, you know, knock off who we want to knock off and us run the game from here on out. Mm -hmm. Cause for me, it's like sometimes you don't know who to trust because right. everyone keeps saying different things so i'm like hmm, i 
guess I trust you. And then the next day I trust somebody else. So I'm like, hopefully this can be it. This is the last one. We talked about possibly linking up, having a little girl alliance. So I, I still feel like you guys have a bigger connection because you guys came from the other team. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how much do you trust Rochelle? Um, I, I mean, as far as I know, she voted. She didn't vote me out last time, you know, and so if it's comparing how much I trust her to how much I trust you, it's, you know, honestly, I got to be honest. I trust her a little bit more just because she didn't vote me out and you did. Well, I don't know why she was talking to us like we are a threat to her, but I see well, the main reason is that I wasn't getting a good read from Rochelle, and I didn't feel like she wanted to be in a final three with me either, and I'm just going off of my gut. But it's like, actions do speak louder than words all the time. I mean, Aspen actually makes a little bit of an effort to, to talk strategy a little bit, but Rochelle, nothing at all. And that would be the only reason that I was resistant. So I am hoping that, you know, we can gain trust, but for sure at this moment, I, I have to put my trust in her and I know that she'll be honest about, you know, if she's voting for me or not. At least I, I feel that for sure. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, that's just kind of like, I feel like I'm at the disadvantage to be honest because of that, because um, I didn't really get the chance to know you guys because you came from the other side. So that's, that's kind of the things that are kind of going through my head right now. Um, All right. Yeah, I ain't gonna say it's making her a target for tonight's vote, but I mean, it ain't making us feel like she really wanna work with us, you know? Like, I don't know if she's still working with the other team, which she probably is. Mm, so I gotta be careful what I say around her, seriously. Uh, my, my strategy in the competition was simply to go to IMDb, put the actor slash actress in, and I know how to use the search results. Like, I was in there ahead of time once you announced the challenge before the rounds actually began, figuring out the fastest way to do it. I had my screenshot folder open, I had the Discord open, I had the Chrome browser open, boom, boom, boom. Quick, quick, quick. As quick as I could, because speed, I believe, is a factor. You know, I could spend a while making sure I got it right, but that's how you lose when the speed is the tiebreaker. So I had two IMBDs pulled up, one on my computer, one on my iPad. I mean, I was ready. so annoying and plus five minutes was not enough for me i am 
Like, if you gave me 15, I would have won at all those shits. But five, bitch, five minutes? My strategy was I need this safety. I need to feel safe, you know? Like, I don't, I don't know. I could be on the chopping block this time, and so I needed that. That's why I went so hard. Seriously, I just went into straight up savage mode because I, I I was hungry. I needed that win and so for me to not get it and get all the way to the end and lose one round against Mike, I think I was cheated. Absolutely. I think I was robbed of the opportunity and and I don't know. I'm I'm not feeling good about it. That's for sure. Oh my god, I'm so happy to just be immune. Oh, this means I really just want to do well, and I am still... Oh, I'm not going home. I'm not going home. I will not pull an Eric. I will not give this immunity up. I am not... I am not going home. I'm not going home. Nope. Nope. Still in it. I'll drink some of my unflavored seltzer water. <laughs> That was close. That was close. Aspen nearly gave me a goddamn heart attack. I wish you wouldn't have won. That's one less thing everybody had to worry about. I'm pretty sure he was guaranteed vote. But I was right, right? Like, I, my, my suspicions were confirmed. What I saw in the price challenge is that he was really quick with looking shit up on the internet and posting it online. For once, my gut did me right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not cool that Mike won, you know, that's the one person that we didn't want to win, so it sucks that he won because that's who everybody wanted to get out tonight, so now it's like, scrambling everybody up, go, and try to infiltrate the system, but I don't know. We'll see if anybody gets in there. And Mike winning safety, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I heard that he was trying to kick me out. So I was like, if he's trying to talk to everybody and kick me out, then it must be this big ass ploy because I just didn't think anyone's anger towards him was genuine, but it has to be. Cause <laughs> that shit was extra. <laughs> we are going to just see if we can pull it out and see if we can have everybody on our side and see where everybody lies. The cons of Yahoo Alliance for sure is that even though I feel closer to them on a personal level, just cause I've talked to them so much more, I feel more susceptible to betrayal from Days Than Infinity. I feel like one of them would cut my throat before AOL would. I feel like I'm on the bottom of the three in either, right? I think I'm on the bottom of Dazed and Infinity, and I feel like I'm on the bottom of Aspen Rochelle. So it puts me in an interesting spot to get to the final three, but it makes it a lot tougher to get to the final two. Since Infinity thinks you and Aspen are close, are you targets? Probably, and that's why I can't trust her. Like. What's the point? What, what? Of course we're gonna be close if we were on a team together and we came together. We're gonna be close. Even, I'm closer to Fanguy than I am Infinity and I don't even trust Fanguy either, so. But I would always choose Fanguy over Infinity. We do plan on controlling the vote this round, you know? We, it's, we, we are the turning point because we could either go with Fanguy and you know, go against Infinity and Dazed. I guess essentially going with Fanguy and Mike. I don't know if Mike and Fanguy will work together or not. I haven't really said nothing. Mike has reached out to me, but 
I'll let y'all know how that goes later. Who should go? Mike, but he can't, so <laughs> I have to choose the one that I I trust the least and I least trust Infinity. So it has to be her. So I think AOL's played a very upfront game. Uh Yahoo's definitely scheming a lot. Um uh, and you know, part of me is just like I'd rather roll with the people that that I feel safer with. It's just, it's switching daily. I'm going to have to make a stand. Truth is at this moment in time, I do not know which alliance I'm going to pick. And after the challenge, we had a little alliance chat. Went on for quite a while. And I believe we re we rebuilt those bonds that I had essentially taken and just took a hammer to and shattered and burnt the bridges and doused them in oil. And I, I you know, built like a shoddy like string across the canyon <laughs> to try and <laughs> replace the bridge that used to be there. I was an asshole. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't make it okay. But I really shouldn't have done uh, said a lot of the things I said. A fair bit of it was attempting to save Hibarco, which is what I thought was best for all of us. And then a fair bit of it was just because I'm not I'm a very flawed person. So well, That's, we all we all have flaws. <laughs> no one's perfect. Piece. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys at least talking to me, and I mean, I know that I wanted unity, so now there's a lot more incentive to do it. But I do still appreciate you both talked to me in text or in summit prior to the, me winning immunity, so I wasn't just getting completely alienated because that's never a good feeling. Ugh, it's well, not, no, you know, no. I mean, I'm I'm not one to completely bur burn bridges. I am, but then I usually try and go back with like a, a hammer and like a single board and try and rebuild the bridge and <laughs> it doesn't work. They, they're probably just going to turn on me again and I'm fully expecting that, but at least I have a small chance of them wanting to keep me moving forward because I, I helped them when I didn't have to. I don't have to help them. I could go to the, I could go to them, I could go to AOL and just vote these two out and just say, be done with it. I, I could 100% do that, but I instead decided to take the moral high road. So yeah, like I, I, I've been targeting you since the beginning, but I was gonna let you get to the merge before we did that. Um, I appreciate it because my goal is always the merge. It's a good goal yeah. to shoot for. Um, so I'm a bit perturbed that if you had the chance to take me out, you would have done so before the merge. Okay, I said that because I was still angry at you, and honestly, it only would have happened if Karen had returned and actually been a player, and that didn't happen. If we'd have gone to a tribal, I would have just voted Karen out. But I uh, believe me, I, I jumped the idea back and forth of like, hey, if Karen comes back, I'm gonna pull Karen in and, and take out Hayes because I don't. Is that strictly because I came from the board of the band, or like you had a specific reason to distrust me to start off with? You, you, I felt threatened by you because you seemed smart and capable. You guys, I, lo I love this because I feel like these are some genuine thoughts here, so it's... It is. It's, it's, it's kind of nice. I've always been 100% honest, but in the fact that I was trying to protect this alliance, at least all of us, including Ebark, until the final four, I've always been genuine in trying to achieve that goal. So, Mike, when I asked you who you wanted to vote out this next time, you seemed very hesitant to even yeah. give an opinion. Look, um, dude. You saw what happened when I, when I tried to put my opinion out there last time. You saw what happened. Um, I mean, you were pretty aggressive with your opinion. Yeah, I feel like I owe you guys an apology. More so than, like, I need, like, I could go up there right now and scream, vote days of infinity, I'm not gonna do that. I, I, I think you guys, if you, if you two are working together, you should come up with a target. I will vote with you. Rochelle, without a doubt, and just because she never tried to make any type of communication with me or even really talk strategy. She never once reached out to me first, ever, which is crazy. My meeting tonight, uh, Aspen and Rochelle made it very clear that they do not trust Van Guy. Like, they said it more than once, so whatever. Do you buy that, that as part. a truth or just a facade? I wasn't sure. I couldn't get the read on it, but... The best scenario for my game is Rachel going home with her alleged vote switch. Uh, Rachel or either Rachel or Aspen going home. It, it all means the same to me at the end of the day, but they're a strong duo.
do you two really do you want do you feel comfortable taking working together with me till the end or at least working together for this vote because go ahead and vote me out after this but like you I, two are the I mean most deserving at this point and i would be okay like, with that but what i'm concerned about is rochelle having a switch of vote does she still have that that's my understanding. She used it at the first merge vote, but she probably still has it if she actually did ever have it. I think for this round, we can trust him. I think he's voting with us. Mike, who do you think is closer within that group of three? Aspen and Rachel, without a doubt in my mind. Well, yeah, I feel the same way exactly. <laughs> I think those two, if they fall apart, the glue of the AOL alliance will be shattered. I would prefer I would prefer A4 to Oh, oh shit, we're at three. Yeah, Listen, four to two, a four to two vote. Fangai, Fangai has me I know. I know. Would either of you can you guys pull Fangai in and kind of just like I don't know. Well, neglect here's to <laughs> mention the fact that you'd be working with me, like just say like we're going to vote X out. But what are you? But what are you gonna tell Aspen then? Because I can tell Aspen whatever you guys want me to tell Aspen. Is there any possible way that Rochelle and Fan Guy aren't working together? That's possible. Yeah. Or they, but they're working together, I think. But I think that if if what they told you, Infinity, was true, and they don't trust him, they might say, "All right, we'll use this opportunity to get rid of him." Sure. No. Because they'll think I'm. Well, I mean, like, we can always. They'll think you'll that I'm just like an asshole and no one wants to be, which is sort of true. If Infinity and I want to survive, we have to make sure we have at least three votes, and Rochelle doesn't use the advantage that we think she has, which is the switch a vote, or we have to pull Fan Guy to our side. So for me, the biggest takeaway from that conversation is having to put your trust in someone who um, you don't trust. And just because of uh, <laughs> previous actions, I mean, I guess at this point, there's gotta be some level of mistrust for everyone. Um, even the people that you're closest to, you never know what's going on in someone's brain. So it's just kind of like, you just, you kind of have to roll the dice sometimes and just be like, okay, well, they said they were gonna do this. Uh, hopefully that they, they follow through. Team now who votes together one last time for old time's sake. In order to ensure Rachel does not use her vote switch thing at tribal council, I will be putting on a show. I will be going after Dazed. I will be saying how terrible Dazed is that I haven't forgiven him, that I tried to forgive him, and then he spit in my face. I'll say he's a traitor, he's a snake. I'll pull out every trick in the book, and it'll all be a facade. I'm not voting dazed. I'm gonna say I'm voting dazed, but I'm not going to. Um, this uh, hopefully will prevent Rachel or make Rachel think she doesn't need to use her vote switch alliance. Then, to her surprise, hopefully, <laughs> the vote ties, hopefully, 3-3, three, three, three on Rachel, three on dazed. At this point, fan guy is going to be like, hopefully, <laughs> Uh, I'm not drawing rocks for Rachel, I'll just vote Rachel out. And they'll say, yes, just vote Rachel out, that would be great. And uh, everyone lives happily ever after. I put on a performance of Trimal. I mean, tell me that's not a resume builder. Well, I guess it's best to uh, start with Mike so he can. Uh... <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> Tell us about some of the drama that happened over the weekend. People lied. People cheated. Not cheated. People lied, cheated, and stole. And they... I felt betrayed, so I lashed out, as I feel like was within a certain level of my rights. Uh, Daze, do you agree with that? No. Um, he lied to me first. Um, oh, I bullshit. had no... I you had no idea. You wanted to target me. Before the merge, you wanted me out. No, I said I wanted you out after the merge. But you were planning I, for it pre-merge. No, was not planning on a pre-merge. I needed no, you, you until the merge to get me out at merge, pre-merge. Like, anyways, don't, don't worry about the technicalities of it. Bro. Well, Fan Guy, what do you think of all this drama? You got involved in it too, apparently. 
I just I thought Mike did some scummy stuff. I, I told him that. I, I get it's a game, but uh, y- yeah, it was. So I, I mean, it, it is what it you, is. If you don't mind, what did I do that was so scummy? Besides playing idol to save myself, like what about that is scream scummy to you? I mean, okay, so first of all, just went home? Should, you, should you were telling people, you were telling people, you were telling people to vote me. In so while that's not scummy, that's that's immediately going to put me on you on my shit list. And then you're asking me in a very non-polite way why I didn't vote for Days when you played your idol so that we could get him out. And you know, I, I, you know, you know what's, what you know what's funny though? I might have even considered it played. had you told me you had an idol. I might have okay, considered it had you told me you had why, an idol. But, but you're, you're sitting here saying you're sitting here telling know? me to vote out somebody. That you're t- you're sitting here telling me to vote out somebody that I like, <laughs> and you're not even giving me a good reason to do it. So you're basically saying no. vote for Days, even though no one else is voting for Days. And yeah, just trust me. What have you done to earn my trust? So like, it, it just just not smart. Just not smart. So if, if you no one trusts you because you don't trust anyone. That's the same problem I have with multiple people. Is what entitles you? to know about my idol what entitles what entitles you? you to tell me what entitles you to tell me to vote for days without knowing your plan uh I didn't like, why would i vote for some why would i vote for someone i, sim- who's not I getting never got offended votes. that That's you didn't stupid. do it all i said was that if you voted him you wouldn't be in danger in the revote which was true because you would have went home well to take down the test i like i i, I, I like days more not. than i like you straight up i don't <laughs> Alright! <laughs> it is what it is! Oh my god. <laughs> um, Aspen, during your meeting with Rochelle and Infinity, you thought this whole drama could be some sort of ploy. Where do you stand on that at the moment? Um, that... It, it is possible. I mean, you know, honestly, it, it really is possible. Um, I don't. I don't put nothing past anybody. Infinity. Yes. Uh, Mike stated that you uh you tipped him off to the vote beforehand. Is that true? And why did you do so? It is true. And um, so my strategy was kind of just to be completely honest with everybody, just to see how that would work. That's my play behind that. That was my first thought on it, and I also suspected that. He was hiding something from us, and so I saw that as an opportunity to to figure out what that was. To prove that he didn't trust us? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, yeah, I didn't tell anybody I had an idol, but like, ooh, what a bad guy. I would have played that idol on somebody else if they had shown me enough, like, trust, but I, no one else Yeah, but was. dude, you kept preaching that we were, all a, we, were all, we were all a team, but yet you're hiding stuff from your teammates. That's... That's yeah, I'm hiding like my my like one way out, and guess what? I needed it, so it looks like I was right. Bangai, what are your thoughts on Infinity tipping off the boat since it almost got you in trouble? Yeah, well, you know that was a double-edged sword. I can't say I was pleased about it, but I believe that her random vote for E Barca actually saved my ass. Otherwise, uh, it would have been down to just. Um, me and Dazed for the revote, and I really don't know how that would have gone. Dazed, other than Mike, who's the most dangerous person left in the game, in your opinion? <sighs> I think everybody at this point is dangerous. Um, for the most part, because I don't know where really anybody stands. Um, you know where I stand. <laughs> I'm, yeah, great. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, but other other than uh, Mr. Trash over here, I don't really, I don't know where anybody stands in this game. I mean, I'm kind of worried about the vote tonight, honestly. As you should be. <clears throat> Mike, other than Days, who's the most dangerous person left in the game? Me. <laughs> All right. Let's do. I want to uh, go on to talk about the... Uh... <laughs> Reward <laughs> challenge a little bit. Uh, so, fan guy was voted as likely to win the game. Infinity, what are your thoughts on that? Do you agree with that? 
sure. Why not? I mean, I I can't sit down and pinpoint somebody that I say is going to win for sure. Um, I think everyone has a really good shot. I mean, we all made it this far, so. Thank Bang you, Karen. Ass. Do you think so? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to win that one. Just for the record, I was not. There was a lot of nice things that were said about me that I loved, and that was not one of them. I was not happy to win that vote. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask Mike this question. So Aspen is Days the <laughs> villain of the season, like he was voted. Uh, I don't think so. I, I, he he hadn't gave me that vibe. Infinity, who's the villain of the season? Mike. <sighs> Aw, uh, you guys will see. I'm the hero. <laughs> Everybody's the hero of their own story, bud. <laughs> my story's the only one that's gonna matter. Dazed, Infinity was voted as the most likely to be in the most alliances. Do you agree with that? Uh, when I answered... When I was filling it out, maybe, but right now I think everybody's in everybody's alliance. Does that make sense? Except for maybe Mike. I mean, <laughs> he's on a, or at least I hope he's on an island on his own. But oh, you, you know, we, last time we talked about lines being blurred, it's just a bunch of squiggly marks right now. Like I have no idea who is with who, and yeah. Um, fan guy. So, is there any kind of consensus for tonight's vote? Since it can't be Mike. No, because Mike's got immunity. Otherwise, I think it would be a slam dunk 5-1 vote. Aspen, you came in second in yesterday's competition. Does that put a target on your back? Uh, no. I hope it doesn't. I just <laughs> wanted to, uh, you know, make sure that Mike didn't win. Whatever she was saying. So. Rache Rochelle isn't here. Is she a threat since the, uh, she won two competitions so far, technically? I mean... Oh, who are you asking? Anybody. Um, I'm going to say that uh, it makes her a threat because she wasn't here like Mike wasn't here last time. So Yeah, I wasn't here and everyone turned on me. I don't see why suddenly because it's Rachel, it's okay. It's almost like you guys have just had it out for me since the beginning. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Infinity, do you think Mike will join Team AOL in the vote tonight and just vote off you were dazed? Well, I don't know because, like Dave said earlier, the lines are blurred and I don't I don't know if it's necessarily Team AOL against Yahoo back in the day stuff, so yeah, I'm not sure how to answer that. I'm just uh, hoping to stick around. Day I mean, I, I can answer that. I'm voting, I'm voting dazed. I'm voting dazed. Why? Because we had a fight? Yeah. Because we had Whatever. a fight. You Remember, know, don't, pit, don't piss off, <laughs> don't piss off someone enough that they don't want to vote anyone else. Like, Remember when you were condescending to me and told me that my game was stupid? Uh, I don't believe I ever used those words. No. I think you might have. No, I don't think I did. Uh, did you... was... Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, can can paranoia be an advantage? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, maybe oh. there's something in there that is truth, but when when you're when you get that paranoid, you question everything. So trying to find the truth in that is literally trying to find the needle in the haystack. Like it you don't know what to do anymore. That's actually kind of where I'm at right now, so. Well, I guess what I'm asking Aspen is, can can you take advantage of somebody else's paranoia? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. So I guess the last question is, since everything is so blurred, Mike, how is everybody gonna, how is everybody other than you gonna decide who to vote for tonight? I couldn't even begin to tell you. Frankly, people could be voting on whatever they want because I don't care because I will still be here tomorrow. And really, it's all the same to me.
It's actually not as difficult tonight as I thought it was going to be. Um, and the reason being is this person has never made an effort to try to get to, to know me or work with me at all really or reach out to me. And so, I mean, I can't, I can't really see myself going forward with someone who doesn't even put any effort into any type of relationship. Um, and then this person didn't even bother to show up for the, the meeting tonight. So I'm just kind of like, well, that made it a little bit easier um, than originally intended. So my vote is for My vote is for infinity. Um, I don't know, you know, I, we, I really like you as a person. It's nothing personal. I really hope we can hang out after this and, you know, be cool, but it just is how the tables turn, you know? Sorry. I don't like this vote at all. Uh, I really, 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 really don't like this vote. This vote's tough. I just think I have to absolutely go with my gut. So my gut. Uh... I am going to use my power because I do not trust Infinity. I don't. I think she's trying to try and get me out. First vote, Infinity. Next vote, Rochelle. Next vote, Infinity. Next vote. That's two votes, Infinity. Two votes, Rochelle. Next vote, Infinity. Next person voted out, Infinity.